Hello again. Now, it isn't sunny, so it's not perfect at the moment for testing this thing. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Blitzwolf 20 watt solar charger. Now, this was sent to me by Blitzwolf in exchange for an impartial review. I'll always say if I have paid for the item or whether it was sent to me. It doesn't affect how I judge it, but I think it's only fair to tell you if I've actually bought it or if it's been sent for review purposes. Now I already had a solar charger from a different manufacturer that had four panels. It's actually bigger, but it wasn't as high a wattage. It was 14 watts. This one is 20 watts and it's smaller and apparently it's more efficient. So I was quite keen to try it to check out those claims, see what it's like and report my findings to you, the viewers. Now Blitzwolf do a hell of a lot of electronic gear on their website. I'll put the link in the video description. There's not a huge range of outdoor gear, but I'm sure they'll expand into that market. This one is, however, very relevant to what I do on my channel. And a solar charger can be very useful when you're talking about your bug out bags, your overnight camps, your three or four day camps. Generally, just your outdoor pursuits. If you've got power, you can communicate with the rest of the world. If you lose power, your phone dies and you have got no backup, you're knackered. Now according to the manufacturer, this is a very efficient solar panel design. Not knowing enough about solar panels, I can't confirm that. But apparently the efficiency of this, of converting sunlight to power, is up to 23.5%, which seems pretty high. Now apparently similar products are 15% efficient or less, which isn't very good. 23.5% is a lot better than 15 or less. That would seem to account for the fact that this one is 20 watts with only three panels. A similar one that I got from another manufacturer about a year ago, I think I bought this one on Amazon, uh, is 14 watts and has four panels. Possibly one of the less efficient ones compared to one of the more efficient ones. And what that means is you've got less bulk and less weight with the newer design and you should have higher efficiency as well they both seem to do a pretty good job but the Blitzwolf one is smaller and lighter so from a trekking point of view when you don't want to be carrying a lot of weight and bulk that can only be a good thing now three more important notes to mention about this Blitzwolf 20 watt solar charger are that one it has an 18 month warranty, which is very good. Although that said, there's not really much can go wrong with it. Two, comes with a range of fittings for different phones, different appliances like tablets and so on. And three, it comes with four individually packaged little spring loaded carabiners. And what they're very useful for is attaching this to your pack, hanging it from a tree, securing it to different things. That's a nice touch including them. At the moment, the sunniest spot in my garden is on top of my shed roof. I'm more or less surrounded by trees. and We've got a clear line of sight to the sun on the roof here. <laughs> now we're mid-February here. So as a consequence, it's not very warm. It's only about three or four degrees centigrade today, just above freezing. But there is a little bit of warmth in the sun. You can feel it on your bare skin. I'm gonna connect up both USBs, one of which will be going to my 20 milliamp hour battery, just a generic storage battery. And the other one will be going to a Kindle Fire. So what I'm looking to see is, will it charge this fella up? So I've got power in storage at the same time as charging this up for use now. Be difficult for you to see there in the sunlight, but that is charging up. Oh, damn it. This one's already at 100%. I forgot I charged this up before. I'll plug my phone in. I'll just knock it off first so that it gives the big charging symbol when it is actually charging. Okay, should be safe to connect it now. 
Right, it doesn't seem to be charging that. I'll just tilt this so it's facing more towards the sun. There we go. I'll try and get that in the shadow so you'll be able to see it. There you go. See that going up there? It's charging now. Yeah. Sun must have just been a little bit weak when I first tried it there because that's charging when this is lying flat. It's not at 90 degrees to the sun, which it really should be. So at the moment, we're charging up the battery and we're also charging up the phone. Now this charger doesn't come with any sort of battery, so it's just a direct charger. But with the addition of just some generic battery, which fits nicely in here, you've got power when you need it, even if it isn't sunny. So you can be charging the battery and charging an appliance at the same time. Very, very important. Now the case that this comes in is very well made. It's very tough, made of nylon, so it's waterproof. And it protects the panels very, very well. And actually looking at these panels, I notice they're a different design to my older charger. I'll just let you have a look at the differences. Right, so that is my old one. And it's got the, you know, traditional lines. It looks very much like a traditional solar panel. The newer one is a lot more flat. So, that possibly is the, the more effective one. As I said, I don't know enough about solar panels, but looking at them, they do look very different. That's a lot flatter. This one has a lot more lines in. Now, because I spend a hell of a lot of my time in rainy old England, where it's generally very cold, I do tend to go abroad for my holidays on hot, sunny beaches. This fella will definitely be in my suitcase. Now if you've enjoyed this review, please check out the other reviews that I've done on a range of outdoor gear on my channel. Subscribe for more and I shall see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Yes, Mr. Pheasant.